I'm not saying that 2.30 a.m. made me a little less sharp. And nice run, Valentine. Alan Taylor. As always, makes an incredible entrance. First in a bar at the age of 13. Then she broke her neck. She overcame all that. Valentine's now world champion. Yeah. World champion. Congratulations. She knew that she could do whatever she set her mind to. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, your girl is moving up through the standings. I'm winning some points. I'm rodeoing again. This has all been so fun. What's not fun is the driving. So we have driven 16 hours to get to this rodeo in Elko, Nevada, and I have a feeling that we're gonna run really, really late. But first, we're gonna get here, and step one is go ahead and find a stall. So we found some really great stalls. We put Baby Flow and Mojo up, let them chill out and rest. The biggest thing for our horses on the road is is finding them some rest and relaxation. Now, I think that I can put them up. The rodeo starts at 7 p.m. and the slack after I think is gonna start somewhere around 9.30 or 10, probably closer to 10. So I'm gonna let the humans rest also. We're gonna take about a two hour nap and then we're gonna go to the rodeo arena at about 7 p.m. So while we watch this performance, we're actually gonna be watching the live at Wolf Point, Montana to see how I end up placing. And we're gonna be watching John run all the horses um, at another event. So we've got a lot of rodeo action going on. We have like baby ESPN, like RSPN. What would RSPN stand for? Like rodeo what sports? What does ESPN stand for? Uh, extra special people now. <laughs> yeah, like sports. <laughs> Do sports. I don't know what it's saying. <laughs> Don't roast us in the comments over ESPN. Don't ESPN. You don't know. You have to Google it too and then come back sounding real smart. Mm -hmm. um, so we have our own basically channel going on of watching all these different rodeos. And the barrel race has still not run at the rodeo that we're at. So it's feeling like it's gonna be a little bit longer. I actually didn't anticipate how long it would be. I was number 57 in the slack at 2.30 a.m. Here I go. Okay, here's what's going down. Cody has alarms set minute by minute for John, who is running all the babies in Minnesota and Knickknack and Five Horses. We're sitting, watching the rodeo to see what time I will run, which will be like, I don't know, 1 a.m., I don't know. I'm also watching Wolf Point Montana live on my phone to see, do I stay in the lead? Am I gonna get bumped, et cetera, et cetera. What is this? What are we doing? Is this gambling? Is my mom still proud? Like, what is this? It's gambling. It's so gambling. Good job. Nice. 11-12. <laughs> So 112 in Texas. Mm -hmm. And like the most fun thing I'm gonna do right now, I'm like all giddy about changing my breast color out. <laughs> That's the kind of motivation I need in my life right now. It was the longest rodeo probably of all time. Four and a half hours, four and a half hours. Barrel race normally runs an hour and 15 to an hour and a half at the longest in. That's if it's not Pendleton. That's the only rodeo that's the exception to that. Pendleton. Mm -hmm. And now we're to the point where like people are drunk in the parking lot because they've been partying over at the rodeo. So like spectators. So it's just turned into a Nevada brothel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> turned into wild time in the parking lot. And now it's probably gonna be midnight or later oh. by the time you run. E easy, 1 a.m. Morning slack isn't sounding that bad. It doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> oh, we're also up at Weatherford at 8 a.m. in the slack. Clearly we had to turn out. By the way, I would also like to tell everyone that we were at this rodeo at two o'clock in the afternoon. That's right. Most of you, we document the times that we're late, just to show you guys like how intense it gets. But we rarely tell you the times that we're super early. Today's one of those days. Baby Flo is signaling to me that she wanted scratched. And when I scratch a buyer withers, then she wants to rub on something like this. Maybe not diamonds, but we'll not do that. Cody, she wants to rub you while you stick your arm out. Let's rub her face. 
It's nice. You There's can nothing to nuzzle your hair. <laughs> okay, so this is my favorite part of the day, and that is picking out the tack that I'm gonna put on Baby Flo, which is crazy, right? Because it's like, I don't know, this just feels like the most fun part. So this is launching very soon on ranchdressing.com, and you can get these inserts. So you buy one tack set, and then you make it a brand new set every time you run. Um, I have the headstall one in there too, but Baby Flo runs in a draw bit. So I don't change out a headstall on her, but I do on Lolo. So let me show you what we do. And then, okay, quick. I don't know if this is the one. so satisfying. Don't know what it is. It's the greatest thing ever. Boom. Nice girl. Resting girl. Wait, no. Yeah, and she's resting. It's good. <laughs> It's you say ow. Yeah. 12.34, as in 12 a.m. As in 12 a.m., as in 2 a.m. Texas. That is true. She's dirty. She's dusty. She has shavings in her mane. So do I. But that's okay. <laughs> We're going to do things. 8-0. Just do exactly what you did last run. Yes, that would be great. Yeah, it would the same run. Yeah, just that same run would be a-okay. Okay, I'm gonna go run barrels. All right. Sorry. Thank you. Mm. You okay, Mama? I'm not saying that 2.30 a.m. made me a little less sharp and that's why I made some mistakes, but I'm not not saying that. Also, baby flow is on fire. Can we admit that? Like, that mare is sticking, jiving, moving. Like, it was just crazy just to stay on board. It was so cool to have her make such a dynamic run. Um, the ground was not ideal. Not blaming the ground, but the ground was not ideal. We kind of slipped around a little bit where it made me ride really conservative. I don't like to hit the ground. You guys have seen me take really bad spills and I'm frankly just not here for it. So when I ran to my third barrel, I was riding and in like a split second I thought I'm going too fast she's gonna fall and I sat down when I did she only did what I told her to do which was turn early I tried to set it up 
I almost took out the barrel setter <laughs> on the way out and I did yell, watch out, because <laughs> I had no reins, um, pulled up and still was like just out of the money. Um, so kudos to Baby Flo being just the coolest unicorn on the planet because that was so cool. And I know I can do, do it better. Only thing is, is like now I have a lot of days off and a long drive home to think about these mistakes that I've made and how long I drove to get there and to make all those things. But it won't benefit me at all to beat myself up. So I'm gonna take this time to just allow us all some rest and recovery and go back to trying to let everything be normal for a few days and then we'll get our booties right back on the road. That's it for right now, you guys. I hope you love this vlog. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you're not already subscribed, why not? Go ahead and ding that subscription button, ding the notification bell, and listen, I will be on my way to the next rodeo very soon. As always, you guys, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. Say